Welcome to this Autarco installer video. We're here to help you install Autarco inverters with a three-phase power export limiting device Mark II or PELD. Some steps might be slightly different if you have a different PELD model. This video will only show one inverter with a PELD installed to keep things simple. Ensure you have all the materials you need for the installation. You'll need three current transformers with the appropriate range to fit the cables or copper bars and a thin three-phase cable of 1.5 square millimeters to power the PELD. Now, let's get started. Step 1. Ensure your inverters are installed. Apply the settings of the inverters that will be connected to the PELD. On the inverter display, follow the next steps. Click Enter to enter the main menu. Go to Advanced Settings by clicking the down arrow. Fill in the password, which you can request via Autarco. Click Enter. Choose Menu Item, External EPM Set. Click Enter. Choose 5G EPM. Click Enter. Choose Fail Safe, On. Click Enter. You will see the Done message and be directed to the Advanced Settings menu automatically. The orange alarm light will turn on as the PELD is not connected yet. Set the address for each inverter by numbering the inverters on their LCD from one to the highest. Press Enter and go to Settings. Set Address. Choose the number and press Enter. Make sure the inverters are numbered in the correct order. The inverter connected to the PELD has address number 1, and then follow the connection order. Step 2. Mount the PELD close to the main grid connection. The original wiring of the current clamps should be able to bridge the distance between the clamp location and PELD. Ensure you don't need to change the length of the chosen CT clamp wiring, as it can highly impact their accuracy. The inverters may be mounted elsewhere, and the communication cable to the inverters may be up to 1000 meters long. Step 3. Make the grid input cable and make sure the PELD is grounded. Step 4. The CTs should be installed just behind the customer's main switch. Switch off the main switch and disassemble the line cable. Now, place the wires of the CT clamps in the connectors. Make sure all are wired similarly to plus and minus. Feed the cable through the CT or use CTs that can be split. The direction of CT is essential and should be equal for all. Ensure that the CT clamps are connected to the PELD immediately after installation. Don't leave the secondary output open. Ensure that the phase numbering connection for the PELD is the same as that of the inverters. Connect the grid input to the distribution box. The grid input cable can be connected to the inverter grid breaker or an independent breaker. Step 5. Set the address of the PELD to 1 on its LCD. Press Enter and go to Settings. Set address choose 1, this is the default. Press Enter. Step 6, connect the inverters to the PELD for communication. Install the current transformers. Make a suitable IS485 cable for a two-wire connection. First, assemble the PELD RS485 connector to one cable end and the inverter RS485 connector to the other. Connect the inverter's COM port to the PELD's COM IMV port with the RS485 cable. Don't use the RS485 port or upgrade port. The orange alarm warning light will stay on until we finish the settings on the PELD later. 
Ensure the RS485AY is connect to the same pin on each inverter and do the same for the RS485B wires. Step 7. Install the communication stick in the PELD. Place the stick in the green 4-pin connector port named Upgrade. Reading out the inverter information is done through the PELD. Remove communication sticks if they are in the inverter, otherwise, the PELD control will not work correctly. Then, install a LAN stick D, or another one of our sticks in the PELD. Step 8. Register the inverters, stick and PELD in Helios to get monitoring data. Step 9. Now that's done, you must set the necessary parameters on the PELD. For this, technical personnel can request the password via Autarco. Let's move on to PELD settings. On the PELD, go to Advanced Settings and set the following data. Fill in the password and press Enter. Set the number of connected inverters. Choose Inverter Quantity Set. Press Enter. Fill in the correct number, which in this case, is 1. Press Enter. Set the maximum allowed backflow power. Choose Backflow Power and press Enter. Set the desired value in Watts. This value should be set according to the maximum allowable export capacity, which should be specified in the grid operator's regulations. As an example, we will limit the power export to 5 kilowatts. This means we fill in 5000 watts. Fill in the value. Press Enter. If backflow to the grid is unwanted or not allowed, set the value to 0 watts. If you wish to change the plus or minus sign, select this box and press the arrow up button. Press Enter. Set the transformer ratio of the current transformers. Choose Set Meter CT. Fill in the CT ratio value. Be aware you can only change the primary value. For a current transformer with ratio of 150 ampere to 5 ampere, the ratio is 30 to 1. Press Enter. Turn Fail Safe On. Choose Fail Safe On, Off. Choose Run. Press Enter. Set the Backflow Work Mode. Choose the desired work mode and press Enter. By default, the Backflow Work Mode should be set to 1. Read more about this default setting and possible exceptions in the manual. In some cases, you may need to select Mode 2. Set the total capacity by choosing Set Capacity and click Enter. You now see the capacity setting, click Enter. Fill in the total capacity of all inverters connected to the PELD in watts. We have connected one 15,000 watt inverter. Click Enter. The PELD should now show the green operation light. Otherwise, refer to the error codes in the manual. The main menu on the inverter's display should show status LIM by EPM, the orange light should be off, and the green light should be on. Step 10. Verify the proper positioning of clamps by reviewing the data in MyAltarco. As a final verification step, stop the power generation of the inverters by either switching off the AC service switch or using the grid on-off setting in the inverter menu. Next, monitor the grid value in MyAltarco. A positive value implies grid import. This is the desired outcome. A negative value suggests grid export, which is impossible without solar production. In such a case, turn off the AC connection and change the direction of the clamps. To turn the grid setting on or off, go to Advanced Settings. Choose Grid on-off. 
Select Grid Off. Click Enter. Wait till the blinking of the text stops. Go to the main screen, this will show the status grid off, and power will be zero. Check the PELD load power value to see if the clamps are measuring values. This should not be zero. In this video, only one phase shows a power value. If the AC side of the inverters is off, active power AC should display as negative on the PELD. Go to the main menu, go to information. Check values for active A power, active B power, and active C power. In Myotarko, the power graph will show positive grid and positive consumption. Even if there are no error messages, it doesn't necessarily mean that the PELD is regulating correctly. Any errors in the settings or connections can cause the PELD not to control the inverters perfectly. So always check under information that the generated and used power are correct. If the grid setting is on, the value total inverter power shown on the display will show the inverter's production. That's it. We hope this installation video has been helpful. If you encounter any issues, please check the error list in the troubleshooting manual. If problems persist, don't hesitate to contact our support team.